way you have to follow postmaster guideline until he's not sitting I can I not to speak. So fellow toastmaster, toastmaster of the evening, we don't have guests tonight. Let us talk about mentor and mentee. We have in our club new people who need mentor. On my last session, I was talking about pathway. But in, under pathway guideline, there, are, there is one section that you have to be a mentor and you have to be a mentee. And it's a, it's a critical role in all the Toastmaster club. Why we have uh, this critical role? Because sometimes there are all members that they don't want to take time and spend. And I say, can I teach you how you can build a better a draft is for your speech. They don't want to spend time because uh, whatever is, I'm busy. But be a mentor imply that you develop a better skill. And be a mentee, you can be much better under Toastmaster guideline. As I am mentor for a small business on social media. And I teach to take advantage, for example, of Google, uh, Google Business, that is a social media platform, how they are going to grow the business and how they are going to be successful. The same co concept we have to apply here. The new member, how they are going to be successful under a Toastmaster guideline. Sometimes, be a mentor, you feel uncomfortable. But this supposed not, you know, has to be a con uncomfortable because it's when you develop your leadership skill to teach others. Let me share some information. When I enrolled um, my, on my first uh, uh, Toastmaster club, my mentor was a uh, wealthy emirati, and then Mr. Said. he said, you are going to be under my guideline. And I said, well, uh, I'm going to teach you how to write your first speech, your eyes break. What do you think? I wrote my first speech. I emailed to him. He made the correction. He back again. He gave me some feedback. And then, and then, I make the correction, then I gave it to him, and then he said, you're perfect. Go and do your first presentation. Then I did the second. Then the same step. You have to do your draft, and I review. I'm not going to do for you. Then the third, uh, pres my presentation, he did the same thing. Finally, he said, you are ready to go on your own. It's time to flow, fly yourself. I, you don't need me anymore. In fact, probably if you continue, I need you. That was, uh, say, you are free. But eventually, you need mentor. When I came to this, uh, a, when I enrolled in this group, I was a little afraid, and Mr. Gilmore was resting in peace, Gail, he said, uh, he talked to me, he did some kind of check my background because I told him that I am in advance. He said, okay, but what do you need me? And I say, 
I always, you always need something uh, check if you speak uh, using when you doing your presentation you using past, present, perfect or uh, all the connecting verb phrases uh, that kind of issue and he said you don't need and I said okay let me do in the invocation and then he said Mirna you're not going to do invocation because it's easy for you. You have to find out something that you need to challenge yourself. Invocation is so easy. In fact, he never enrolled me on invocation in this club. Dave, I think David, he did, because I asked one time, David, I want to do this role. But Mr. Gale, he all the time he said, no, this role has been like, you, it's easy for you. But. What I find out when I doing a mentor, when I am the mentor, I I I think there are more steps, but I think five is okay. You don't you don't need to know all the answer when you are mentoring other person when you are doing your role. You don't need to do the answer, but you can say the other person. Uh, let me find out your question, and then you email to the person with your question. When you are doing, when you are the mentor, make sure you ask the other person question about the topic. Always ask questions, so the other person thinking a little bit, because at the end, it's the other person work, it's not your work. Avoid over mentoring. This is a I make that mistake and be honest. Sometimes I over mentoring. I did this week uh, uh, help somebody else over social media and I tried to do the work. I said why instead to do the work in social media as the other person you had gave the guideline and the other person finished the work. When you are mentoring, sometimes you make a mistake. You don't be afraid. You just human being, and we always make a mistake. Mentoring is not the same as management. When you are the manager from one position, you imply responsibility. When you are mentoring, you is implied responsibility too, but you are coaching. You are telling the other person some guideline about how the person is uh, doing better. To me, wherever you are in business, the, in the political arena, a sport, or working as a community leader, you always have a great responsibility to be a mentor useful for others. Instead to make the decision, I don't have time. Take your time, especially who, Mike, uh, the other who has been in this uh, club for a long time. The new person who has the new um, uh, Toastmaster who are enrolled in the group. Take ten minutes, talk to the person, and say how. Uh, you can do better in your next presentation or let me check your speech, your draft or some kind of question so the other person can be better in our group. I hope with my suggestion uh, you can uh, start thinking a little bit if, if uh, uh, you can be a mentor or mentee. Over to you. Thank